One second. Is that leaf bothering you, is it? <laughs> yeah. Okay, so I've decided to go for it and do it. Um, I did ask you guys, well, the people that follow me on Instagram, if this is something that people would be interested in and had enough people say that they would be. Um, and also, I watched the Mitch, a Mitch Lax video. I'm looking at Alex because he's looking at me in the camera. Um, I watched a Mitch Lax video literally today that said, if you're thinking about starting something or you wanted to start something new, a hobby, then just do it now. That was their advice. So, And I'd already been thinking about it a little bit and wanting to have sort of like a semi-creative outlet for stuff. And so I'm starting today. <laughs> <laughs> so basically, I know that there's a lot of talent on here and already it's a very saturated space but I wanted to make my own little section and then when people can share that with me or they don't have to. That's basically. <laughs> okay. It's not always gonna be consistent. I'm gonna aim for maybe one video a week. Um, and like I said, that's not gonna necessarily happen every week. Um, but ever since I was, a sort of a big reason that I wanna start doing this is ever since I was younger, I've been obsessed with documenting things. Um, and I wish I had the footage from my camcorder, family camcorder that I took when I was younger. Because I was just consistently, when we were travelling or anything, I was always filming around me. Um, and I think it's important to do that, to sort of save your space in time and have that to look back on, um, even with if it's your children or anything like that. And I would film hours of footage of stuff that I wanted to remember. It was sort of like a bit of an anxiety for me that I was worried that I was going to forget this moment in time so I wanted a way of documenting it and I think I got that a little bit from my dad because um, the day that I was born he kept um, the newspaper of the day that I was born so that I knew what was going on in the world on that particular day I've got footage of of the pe of people walking around so like the kind of fashion that was around the day I was born what was happening and what was going on in the news that kind of stuff and I think that is just a really precious thing to have and I would love to continue that for myself and maybe in the future for any children that I have and I think even my younger self knew that I'd grow up to be really nostalgic and so that was why I was sort of so obsessed with documenting stuff and I think is why I'm moving forward I've kept that within me because I always like to look back on the good stuff so maybe let's start with some things that I've written down that are true right now but could also perhaps change in the future just so that I'll remember this particular moment and what's happening and so yeah I basically wrote some stuff on my phone um, and also these things might help you get to know me a little better as well. So today I'm 25 years old, I live in London and I share a flat with a friend from home, um, his name is Joe. Um, we lived together for, I think, about two years now. Um, I don't know how much longer that's going to be, but we'll see. Um, another thing that's quite recent that um, I want to remember is I've just finished um, this book, The Milkman. So it's won this year's uh, Man Booker Prize, um, 2018 actually, so last year. Um, it's sort of basically a look at the troubles from um, a very feminine perspective and it's not an easy read, um, it's not something that you're definitely necessarily going to whiz through um, but I think those kind of things are worth investing your time in. Um, a really amazing Irish woman writer which I think, which actually that reminds me another book that I've read recently that I really liked was uh, Normal People and Conversation with Friends which is written by another young Irish female writer. Um, but yeah, that's what I'm into right now. Um, what else can I tell you that might be changing? Um, okay, yeah, this is definitely something that's going to change. So at the moment, I'm really lucky that I've got two of my best friends in the world living in this city with me. I know that eventually at least one of them is going to be moving away from London. And I think that part of this channel, hopefully, if they're up for it, is going to sort of be documenting this time in our lives where we're all in this city together 
because I think that's a really special thing um, to be young and living here together because um, that's definitely going to change. Um, oh, the next one's really cringy. Do it, Baba. No, I'm not doing this one. Why? Yeah, another thing is I hope this won't be changing, um, at least not anytime soon. <laughs> um, I'm in a relationship, which I guess the majority of you, who, if you're here because you follow me on Instagram, you already know. Um, so Alex and I, at this current moment in time, have been together for coming up to three years. So it'll be, well, it's still a bit off three years, so three years this summer. Um, so it's been about two and a half. So what's happening in my little space of life right now is um, I just got a new job. So I started that about a couple of weeks ago. I'm not going to go into exactly what it is that I'm doing and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, new phase of life, I guess. Are you enjoying it? Yeah, it's good. It's very, it's a different kind of role. Um, and maybe that's part of the reason that it spurred this on. Um, just because I'm in the mood to sort of start creating stuff, I guess. And then to wrap this up, Oh. Sorry. <laughs> it's okay. Um, and then to wrap this up, I'm going to finish with a couple of things that are currently my, not necessarily my favourite, but just things that I'm loving. Um, so this is the Dream Cream by Lush. So this is one that she loves. <laughs> it's me, number one. <laughs> um, my best friend Chloe uh, recommended this and it's basically like a, well it's a body moisturiser that's made out of, I think, a big ingredient is oats, it smells really natural um, and it's just really good and I actually really, I think this is will split people but I really like that it's in, come back? No, hold the thing back, oh. yeah because you can't see it because it's like really oh. bright. Oh right, I really like that it's in a tub, I feel this is really unnatural. No, no, I really like that it's in a tub because it's really easy to, well actually you get to use, well this is an empty one, but you get to use all of it um, because the ones that come in a tube I feel like you never get all the dregs. I love this Deep Sleep Spirit Pillow Spray by This Works. Um, I take this travelling, I think I've got, I've got like the roll on version that I take um, for uh, long flights. Frozen blueberries. I'm really into smoothies at the moment for in the morning. So this is something that I'll have most days. I love this mug. It's very simple. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> it's just the way you said it, <laughs> I love this mug. I do. It's very simple. I'll do maybe a cutaway of where I keep it. Just thing, little things like that where everything where it's got a particular place. It just keeps me happy. Um, I'm not sure I'm going to be able to get this in shop, but I love this Henry Matisse print. Mm. Is it in? Yeah. Bring it down a little bit. I got it at the um, the Moma Museum in New York City when I went on a little solo trip. I do have vlog footage of that, which I've never done anything with, so potentially um, put that up here. And I think it's going to be a lot of vlogs actually on this channel because that's part of the reason that I want to do this is to say these little moments in my life that I'll want to look back on. But yeah, if anybody has any suggestions of what they want to see. Oh, okay, yeah, this is another good thing. Pippa Nut Peanut Butter. It's amazing. Tastes really good. Good consistency. For, you know these natural ones sometimes are just so oily and there's like loads of separation. For some reason this one doesn't have it. No palm oil and it's just so good, it tastes amazing. Um, but yeah, if anybody has any suggestions on what they want to see, comment down below. Um, I don't have like an outro thing or anything, um, so I guess... Oh yeah, my plants! <laughs> Alex keeps reminding me of favourite things. These actually, these will probably feature on my uh, channel a lot. I just want to explain like why I like them and um, if people are interested I can say like where I got them, how I keep, how I take care of them, that kind of stuff. Um, but yeah, I'm a plant lady. Don't have cats but I do have plants. Um, I think that's it. So yeah, like I was saying, comment down below with any ideas or any sort of things that you would specifically want to see from me based on things maybe you've seen on my Instagram that you want to have more detail of, maybe skincare stuff, so I did some stuff on Instagram for that and people seem to 
like it, but I'm done, I think. Subscribe if you want to see more. Yeah, subscribe if you want to see more. <laughs> <laughs> Cutie! Oh, wait, one last favourite. This is going to be the, the vibe of, of the channel, by the way. Not clean or smooth or anything like that. It's going to be a bit all over the place. But this necklace, again, I get quite a lot of questions about it. Um, it's kind of annoying because it's not one of those things that I can just send people to the exact place where I got it because it I got it in, um, well, my godmother bought it for me in a golden souk in Dubai and it's my name in Arabic. Um, and I love it and I wear it every day. Done. <laughs> That's a wrap.